funnier than candy canes or jelly drops. I've got the story. Listen, get out of my kitchen. Out of my kitchen. Go on, go on right now. Out of my kitchen. In Dreamweaver's Dream number 25, volume 12, I found myself entering Santa's village with Ninka, the cousin of little Miss Santa and the person next in line for her job. We were to assist little Miss Santa in dispatching gifts that are to be delivered tonight, this Christmas Eve, to the highest population ever recorded. The setting is the North Pole, which is in reality is Santa's Village, a collection of century-old homes, mountains, villages, big cities, and hotels, and the winding jet streams that surround the Earth. I soon discovered that Santa's Village is just like any other part of the world. Trouble, confusion, mix-ups everywhere. It appears that little Miss Santa, that's her right there, has just informed Miss Lolly that the flying Christmas tree, the flying bumblebee, the two-seater sliders, the hang gliders, and the tank that shoots presents over Tiller and town aren't doing exactly what they're supposed to do. Miss Lolly has just informed little Miss Santa that the clock and the alarm that usually awakens Santa is on the blink and he is still sleeping off the weariness from last year's Yuletide journey. About 15 centuries ago, Santa's village was just one big chalet. Now it's a busy workshop where Santa's helpers have been preparing Christmas gifts and little Miss Santa has been training various characters to help Santa hand deliver his presents around the world. I'm lolly, the lady with the lollipop. Yummers and candy canes are jelly drops. I've got a Excuse me. We're looking for my Aunt Chrissy. Oh, I mean Mrs. Santa Claus. Do you know where she lives? Mrs. Oh. Santa Claus? Well, I have an interesting family, too. Well, I might say. Well, she lives in that big castle right up there on the hill. You mean right up the path here? Oh, yes. But, well, she's not there now. Well, she's right there in that cottage. This is their village cottage, you know. We make all our toys here, you know. Uh, Sa this is Santa's kingdom, you know, and, and we're very busy because tomorrow's Christmas, you know. You know something? That house over there is so pretty, I could eat it. Well, that's where Mrs. Claus's stepsister, the good witch, lives. Well, thank you, Miss Lolly. Is she one of your relatives or something? <laughs> Well, wait a minute, I'm a good kid. Well, here's one for you, and here's one for you. Oh, thank, thank you, Miss Lolly. You're welcome. Pineapple lollies and peppermint, too. Here's a yummy flavor that's just for you. Did Let's you see that? Did you see just what happened? Let's go back and see that again. Oh, no, Miss Lolly gives out lollipops to the good boys. Well, wait a minute, I'm a good kid. Well, here's one for you. And here's one for you. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Lolly. You're welcome. Pineapple lollies and peppermint, too. Here's the Ninka and flavor. myself just licked the lollipop. And just like magic, Ninka turned into little Miss Santa handing out lollipops. And I turned into a Stooge-like character for little Miss Santa playing the part of a stuntman, daredevil, and a Santa's helper, I thought. But of course, little Miss Santa was my boss and teacher. And I was the student, so she didn't tell me everything about what I was to become. Oh, Merry Christmas, Miss Anna. Can you spell Christmas? Of course. Can I spell Christmas? That's easy. Uh, that's K-R-I-S-T-M-I-S-S. -S. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you misspelled. And that is the reason why Santa sent me here to see you. Hopefully, you know the true meaning of Christmas. Everybody knows the true meaning of Christmas. If you promise to obey the song of Christmas, you shall reap 
all the magic powers and the spirit of St. Nicholas. Oh, goody. That means I get to deliver all the goodies. Cakes, ice cream, everything to all the kids and all girls and kids all around. But, but remember, no bad thoughts or I shall disappear and you will never see me again. And you will be punished. Okay, I'm ready. Hey. My goodness. What chance do I have with this Hollywood character to help him become Santa Claus? He even misspelled Christmas. And now for his first lesson in spelling on Mount Nativity Spirit. Okay, Mr. Saint Nicholas, we're gonna practice delivering our gifts. Wait a minute, Santa Claus has a sleigh. No, you must have faith. Faith in this big cold mountain? No, in the Christmas spirit. Oh, the Christmas spirit, okay, that's good. And you mustn't think any bad thoughts. No bad thoughts? Okay, for three minutes at least. But you gotta go first. Okay. Okay, now let me get prepared now. Okay.